well. Let's check back in with ABC 15's John Erickson, who is out there. <gasps> oh. oh, they're throwing, throwing. things. Yeah. And they are throwing at police right now. We really want this to stay peaceful, but this is such a dangerous yeah. scene that you're seeing. We it's hard don't to know what they're too. throwing. I can't be sure what they are throwing there. We this is at 7th Street in Roosevelt. We're mm -hmm. just getting word from our producer back there who's able to track this. You can see those protesters and then police there with their shields holding up, maybe perhaps trying to block whatever <sighs> is being thrown at them, hurled at them by these protesters out on the streets. Chief Yonner just expressing that the message has been understood. The people made their message clear. He does not want it to resort to violence. We are seeing those people throwing those items at police. Wow, an incredible scene unfolding here uh, on the streets of Phoenix as they make their way mm -hmm. toward the freeway. Um, and you're seeing officers try to deal with this. Look at, okay, so now we're seeing the, tr the city traffic there that uh, wasn't intending to be a part of any of this, but stuck in the middle of this in right. the streets of downtown Phoenix on a Friday night. And the what you're dealing with there is people are going out or they're coming home, possibly going out to dinner, coming home from dinner, and they are dealing with this. And you can see police there trying to deal with these protesters who were, we saw them just live there at the same moment you did as they were throwing objects at police there out on the streets. You can see them up with their shields blocking the road there. And uh, I believe we, I think we saw our reporter Navita Fergani out in there taking video on her mm -hmm. phone as well. So you can imagine a lot of people are most likely either putting this on Facebook or Twitter and updating these moments as they are right in the middle of this protest. I know so many of you are watching uh, from around the world as well. We're seeing you joining us on Facebook right now. And uh, for those of you who are not in Phoenix, let's give you some background on what uh, specifically happened with this rally. It was intended to start at 8 o'clock. Obviously, in Arizona, we're still, still dealing with more than triple-digit di temperatures. It was 110 degrees here in Phoenix today. 